Where do we start? I guess, what does this mean for, for, for the markets here in Hong Kong? Hi. Um, well, it's it's definitely a good um, a good time for these deals to be coming to Hong Kong right now. Um, the tensions between the U.S. And, and China have been casting a bit of a shadow over the U.S. listed Chinese companies. Trump has moved to um, block a federal retirement agency from investing in Chinese stocks. So these large firms coming back to list in Hong Kong um, is. Is good for Hong Kong as it sort of as it's a future as a international financial hub. Also comes under a bit of a shadow given the upcoming uh, imposition of the national security law, and the markets have have sunk a bit since uh, China said it would impose that law. And so um, Hong Kong has also been trailing in terms of IPO volumes, and so these. Uh, multi-billion dollar deals will be very good in terms of getting Hong Kong back up there in terms of the ranking. It was the world's number one listing venue uh, last year. Right now, it's not even in the top three. Right. So could this be the start of a trend, right, a turnaround as we see more U.S. listed Chinese companies coming home? It, it definitely could be. There are others in the pipeline uh, that have been reported. There's Young China, um, uh, C-Trip holding. So all these companies have apparently hired banks and they are gearing up for these Hong Kong listings. And there could be others that, that could come as well, especially if the U.S.-China tensions keep keep escalating or don't de-escalate in any case. Um, the, the outlook for Chinese companies looking yet to list is not very good.